that was in front of you today. Like imagine this Quran talks about how salt water and sea water meet but don't mix. How can a man named Muhammad in a desert who never went out to salt water, right? He had never seen salt water. He wasn't able to read or write. He was illiterate. How would he know that? Talks about the development in the womb of the mother. It's in that flyer, right? How would a man named Muhammad in a desert know that? Right? I mean, you can guess once, you can guess twice, you can guess three times, but you can't guess every time and be right, right? So that's the message of Islam. We as Muslims, we don't drink, we don't do drugs, we don't fornicate, we try to keep a clean lifestyle, keep your body pure from toxins, from alcohol, from cigarettes and all this stuff. You know, keep yourself, your body healthy and keep your spirit healthy, right? We pray five times a day, right? We, we, we believe that you shouldn't take somebody else's right, you shouldn't abuse like the Christians did when they came to Native American countries and massacred and genocides. Muslims didn't do that. Muslims ruled Spain for 700 plus years, but they didn't kill the Christians and Jews. So everybody lived in peace. It was called Andalus, right? When the French and others, they took Spain away from the Moors, they had the Spanish Inquisition. What did they do? If you don't become my type of Christian, you're killed. You're Jews, Muslims, other Christians, you know. So, so we don't believe in that. That's not the message we believe in. Yeah, there's politics, people make up groups and use religion wrong. We don't believe in that. We believe in a peaceful existence. Islam comes from the word Aslama, which means to submit, which comes from the same root word of Salama, peace, right? That's why when we see each other, we say Salam Alaikum, peace be upon you, right? Oh, what a beautiful grade, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can learn that today, Salam Alaikum, right? So it, when we see each other, we're not like, hi, you know, Instead, we say, peace be upon you, right? The other person says, wa alaykum as salam, and peace be upon you as well. Allah in the Quran says, I call you towards Darul Salam, the place of peace, right? So we believe there is a life after this life, right? Because think about it, if this was it, what's the point of life, right? I mean, I'm not going to ask your age, but me, I'm 40 something, right? So the last 40 years of my life, like this, right? I mean, I have some memories, but that's it. Right? Good times, bad times, they all passed, right? So if this is it, what's the point of life? It's just a bunch of memories, right? And humans weren't meant to just end. And that's why humans always think about what's after death, purpose of life. Dogs and animals don't. You don't see animals develop religious thoughts. You don't see them develop different languages. They have their barking or meowing or mooing and that's it, right? But humans were made for a greater purpose, right? A greater life after this death. And the first step, as you are doing, is to recognize your creator. Who is Allah? Who created me? Why was I created? And then as you get to know Allah, you submit. As a Muslim, that's what it means. That's why we say Jesus was a Muslim. Because he submitted himself to God, right? Not the, the, the fiction that they have made Jesus into today, right? So we believe anybody who submits themselves to the will of their creator, follows the Quran, follows the prophet of their time, then they are Muslims, right? So what do you think about that? Yeah, well, I'm really interested in learning. Excellent, like, excellent. In the big picture, I just want to learn about what everybody thinks. And excellent. Like excellent. That I yeah, but I mean, you yourself, right? Don't you feel that there is a creator? No, really? Nothing. Not at all? But think about this, right? As an atheist, how do you think this world in its perfection came to be? Right? Let me give you an example. Like I, I thought about this myself, right? Like I like to critically examine things. I'm not calling for blind faith, right? My kids have Legos, right? I wasted a lot of money on a lot of Legos, right? So if I took a big bucket of Legos and I throw it repeatedly, right? Just throw it and throw it and throw it. It will never make itself into an Eiffel Tower, right? It will always have different results. But even if I did an infinite amount of throws, it will not make itself into perfection. It may make something close, a building or, you know, something. You see what I'm saying? But look at the way the human body works. You know, when the, when the mother is pregnant, right? Milk comes in the breast, right? Regularly, a woman, she doesn't have milk in her breast. But only when she has a child. Like, how does that happen? Where did that start? Who programmed that? Like, I don't know if you've done any computer programming or... So think about this, right? Like when you write code, every line of code has to be written out. You miss one comma, your code's not going to run, right? But who made this perfect code? You don't think there's got to be some creator? No, genuinely, I don't. So how? I'm just interested in learning okay, good, good. what everybody thinks. But, but I, I'm interested life. in learning too, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, so what do you think? Like, how did everything come to be? 
thought I was just thinking science, but... But I believe in science too. But science doesn't tell you who or why, right? Uh, I work in the med device industry, right? So I, I, we do medical device, clinical trials. I, I know how theory and hypothesis and I know all of that. So science cannot tell you who made the world. Yeah. Science can tell you how things develop, right? We can do a trial. We can take grass and split the, 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 the DNA with, infuse it with something and see how it changes. Yes, but we can't tell you who made grass, right? But as a, an intelligent human being that you are, you should ask yourself that question. Well, who made this? Like, I mean, it, when you look at just the way the human body works scientifically, how the brain works, how it functions, nerves, the messages, all the stuff that we don't control. Like you don't sit there and go, if I hurt myself, I need to send a message, right? Yeah. Automatically happens. As a program, as somebody who's done code, you know there's gotta be something behind that, right? Oh, that's something that I have to give them. Excellent, to. excellent. Think about it. You know? yeah. That's the thing with Islam. We don't force it down anybody's throat. It's just a matter of thinking. And you know, take a Quran, it's the actual book, it's all free, you know. Read it, read the books. Oh, in Spanish. In Espanol, see? Oh, yeah, better. You speak Spanish too? Or? There's, uh, we have this in Spanish as well. But, yeah, I mean, if you got an English, it's up to you. Yeah. Oh, it was great listening great to you. Great time talking to you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.